This is Mark Montemare with TheCourtStore.com, your source for tennis court repair and surfacing products. This is part two in our two-part series on how to mark, tape, and paint tennis court lines. In the first video, we showed you how to measure and mark the lines. Now you're ready for the fun part. In this video, we'll show you how to tape and paint them. The first step is to lay your masking tape. Now you can certainly use your chalk lines to as a guide for your tape machine, but a lot of professionals like to use one piece of string long enough to reach the entire length of the longest line. They'll tape that string down with three strips of tape kind of overlapped and usually they'll make the the tape tabs first and then they'll put them at both ends and the way they make those is that anywhere on the court they'll lay three strips of tape and overlap it stick it to the court and then they'll pull this up and they'll make two of these one for either end they'll pull it up and put it at the ends of the string usually putting a loop or a knot at both ends of the string kind of helps keep the uh, string from slipping out from the tape. This next step is very important. Carve the center out of every roll of tape you plan to put on the machine. The machine is just a little too big for the tape to ride smoothly on the spools. When your tape is ready, it's time to set up your machine. You want to keep this pointer in the, that you see in this picture in perfect alignment with the back of the machine. That'll ensure that your tape rides right in between the string so you'll have an inch on either side of the string uh, open to paint. Now see the back of the machine? Uh, its string should be right in the center. The pointer is right on the line and that's what you want. If it's not exactly where you want it, it's time to adjust the pointer a little bit and push the machine forward again to see if you can get the back end in direct alignment. You should see the string exactly down the middle of the back end and right on the pointer and then you know you're ready to tape. The line taping machine is a very simple yet ingenious device that makes laying tape for tennis court lines very easy and very fast. Here you see the handles at the top, the two spools holding the tape, and just below those spools and the tape, you'll see, you can barely see it, but you'll see the guides that hold the tape in place uh, as you push it down the court. Uh, there's also a pointer that sits out in front, it's cut off in this picture, but that's what you follow. You follow the line, you keep that pointer right down the middle of the line as you're pushing the machine forward, and it lays two perfect pieces of tape exactly two inches apart uh, for your tennis court lines. You can also flip that guide over and it will lay three inch lines for those who want larger baselines. Once you have the machine set so that it tracks straight down the middle of the line, stand up, pull the tape through the guides and beyond the back wheels, and set it down on the court well behind the start of your line. Place the pointer right on the string line and start pushing the machine forward, walking very slowly at first. There's no rush. And that's pretty much it. You're off to the races once you start pushing the, the tape machine. To start, you'll walk quite a bit slower than this professional, but it really is as simple as it looks.
this method shows our installer laying all of the tape and then coming back and cutting out the intersections. You can also lay your long lines first, paint those, pull up the tape, and then paint your base lines and service lines afterwards. Okay, once you've laid the tape that you plan to put down, you're ready to paint. There are three methods for painting. One is to stand up with a two inch brush over the line and brush inside of the tape. Uh, some people, it really bothers their legs and back and they prefer a little different method called the sitting method. <laughs> uh, and that's fine too. Uh, whatever, whatever gets the job done. The third method is uh, something that professionals use uh, that is a little more efficient and doesn't hurt your back and legs. They'll put the paint in a one gallon squeeze bottle. They squeeze out a bead on the area between the, the tape and then another guy comes behind with a two inch paintbrush taped to a pole and he'll simply paint inside of the tape as if he was squeegeeing. With this method, when you reach the end of a segment of a line, you'll turn around, you'll go all the way back to the point you started, and then you'll come back one more time. And it really does make a pretty line. I should mention that these guys are do-it-yourselfers, and this is the first set of tennis court lines they've ever applied. Once you finish painting, all that's left is to let the lines dry for about an hour, pull up the tape, and you'll have a beautiful set of professional tennis lines. And that's it for part two of our court lining video. If you have any questions, please give us a call or visit us on the web at thecourtstore.com. You can do this.